GTF, Kisa, what's good? Another day, another video. GTF was good, GTF was good. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. Yay! If you woke up this morning, you are most definitely blessed, man. What's good? GTF, man, what's going on? What's going on? Um, Today, we about to get on the road with it. Um, Basically, uh, today... I don't know what I'm gonna eat today. Yeah, it's gonna be like a freestyle type of day. Um, I have to uh, basically tomorrow. Like I had told y'all a couple of videos ago, I have a cousin that passed away. So tomorrow I'll be going to the funeral. So basically today we about to go. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find me something to wear to the funeral tomorrow. What have you? Uh, so that's why, I mean, in that vicinity, in that vicinity, where are we going to get the food to eat at? I'm, I say get the food to eat at. See, I'm tripping. In the vicinity, where are we going to get the, uh, the, 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 looking for clothes at? There's a lot of eateries in the area, so I guess we'll pick some place to eat from there. You feel me? But like I said, but, but fam, I ain't even going to lie though. Man, if you got something planned, or if you got a goal you're, tr you, you're trying to accomplish, man, you better start working on it ASAP, you heard? If you got a goal that you're trying to accomplish, you better stop working on it ASAP. Because one thing I learned, well, I mean, I've been learning this, but in 2023, we only in, what, April? And a lot of people have been passing away this year, you understand me? So, I just let you know that life is short, man. Tomorrow is not promised. You feel me? If you got something that you need to work on, you need to start working on it, man. Because you don't never know when it's going to be your time to go. Put that work in, fam. Put that work in. Don't let nothing stop you from trying to accomplish what you are trying to accomplish. Hold on, let me put the address in the GPS. Hold on. Yeah, 16 miles from here. Sheesh. Look. Head west on this Northeast 19th Street toward Biscayne Boulevard, then turn right onto Biscayne Boulevard. But yeah, fam, if you are, uh, you got something that you're trying to accomplish, man, start working on it, fam, because you're on the fastest because, route despite uh, life traffic. tomorrow is not promised. Life is right full of surprises, right you heard. But yeah, fam, that's what we're doing. So once we get there, you know what I'm saying once I get what I gotta get as far as the outfit goes, I figure out we gonna eat you heard. So we on the road with it, we about to focus on this road. Let go! All right, fam, we pulling it right now. All right, fam, we done made it, Jerry. We at the mall with it, Jerry. Gotta come up in here and find me something to wear real quick. We the first ones at the mall, man. Just the way I like it, man. Be able to get in and get out, child. Hopefully, I'm on the right side. I think I'm on the right side. 
Cause there's two sides to dealers. Hopefully I'm on the right one. All right, fam. Let's go in this mall and see what we can find. All right, fam, we in here, you heard? I ain't gonna lie, it's nice and quiet in here. Ain't no music playing. I ain't gotta worry about no copyright infringement. Y'all already know, man. We came in on the men's side today. I just feel like walking through the mall today. Um, we going straight to that polo section, man. I'm the polo don, you heard? All right, fam, we in that polo section, baby. Y'all see what's going on, baby. We in that polo section, man. Y'all see what's going on. See what they got for me today. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. They looking like they don't restock. Well, they got some nice colors here. Fam, y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all see all these colors they got today? They got this like light type of pinkish joint. You understand me? Then you got this right here. You got the yellow one. That's the lavender one I bought the last time. Then you got this kind of bluish one right here. I don't know if y'all could tell, you feel me, the, um, how it's not like a solid pink, it's like, you feel me? I'm trying to get you a little close up. Fam, I ain't gonna lie, they done stocked up. Last time I came here when I got the lavender one, they ain't have all these colors, man. I like this green right here, too. Damn. Fam, unfortunately, you feel me? I really just came here to get one shirt. You feel me? I ain't to the status yet where I could just come up here and buy out the section, you understand me? But y'all see it though, man. One ten for one shirt, you heard? One ten for one shirt. I like red. The red look good. You know, red is one of my favorite colors. But y'all see what's going on though, man. I don't know which color I want to pick yet, man. I'm undecided. Which one y'all favorite color, fam? Which one y'all liking? I ain't gonna lie, this green one right here hard, boy. This green one right here different. It's pink right here hard too now, you feel me? I'll be boy to funk that pink on. Yes, sir. Alright, fam. It's a lot of colors over there. You feel me? I kind of I'm kind of leaning towards that green one, but let's walk over here and see what they got real quick to the big and tall section. I mean I could fit the 2X that's over there, but you feel me? I kinda like 2XLT. I want my shirt to have a little length to it, you understand me? So we're gonna walk to the big and tall section and see if they got any 2XLTs. All right, fam, y'all see what they got going on over here? Yes, yeah, sir. But I ain't gonna lie, what's drawing my attention is these two shirts over here. I ain't gonna lie, I'm feeling this color right here. Yeah, and I'm feeling this one right here. You understand me? I'm feeling them. What's the price tag on these joints? Oh, right here. For the 115. Sheesh. Well, Ralph Lauren ain't playing. Boy, he hitting in the head. I'm pretty sure this is probably the same price as well. What a price at? Price right here. And Ralph Lauren hitting in the head. Boy, I ain't gonna lie. You understand me? I don't know which one I want, though. You feel me? They want 15 a piece. I ain't trying to buy two shirts right now. I'm gonna just get one. You understand me? What y'all think, fam? What y'all think? I mean, by the time y'all drop this, by the time I drop this video, I've been to made a decision already, but you feel me? What y'all think? Damn. I like this one. I don't know. I like both of them, man, man. Sheesh. Decisions, decisions. All right, fam. So I think I'm going to go with this one. You understand me? That other navy one, navy blue one, the navy blue plaid shirt is nice too. You understand me? But I don't know. I like this one right here. All them colors and they got the pink in there too. You feel me? You understand what I'm saying? Sir, is there a, is there a fitter room? Just go over there? Yeah. Okay, it's open already? Yeah, let me check. Okay. Why don't we do No problem. Okay, thank you. Make a fitter room with a fan. 
I found we got that thing on, you heard? Hey, they can't mess with me in this polo game, you heard? I'm the polo Don, you heard? What y'all say, fam? How that thing looking? I ain't gonna lie. That thing looking fat. If I do say so myself, you heard? All right, fam. Here's another view. You understand me? What y'all say, man? Y'all let me know. Drop in the comments. I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling this thing, though. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. Fam. I don't know what kind of vibes they on. But I ain't on them type of vibes. Buddy just came and tried to open the door while I was getting dressed with the keys, you heard? But long story short, it's a go, you heard? You understand okay. me? Yes, yeah. sir. It's a, it's a go. Yes, sir. Definitely, definitely good, sir. Y'all see what's going on, fam? They ain't looking fwee. All right, fam. We got the drip, y'all. We got the drip. Hey, fam, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Man, they need to. I don't know. These people that be working in these stores, I don't know, man. They need to get them some better training or something. I can't help but to feel like, um. I can't help but to feel like. I can't help but to feel like when I'm in these stores. Like these people need to feel like I'm a thief or something. Like it's like the way they look at you. It's like I don't know, dog. Like they need some better training. I can't but help. You feel me? Like it's like when they see you walking there, and I ain't trying to get on no race stuff, but I don't know. Like with the way they look at you when you in the store, like it's hot outside. Turn the AC on. It's the way they look at you. It's like, like you know, like they make you feel like you like you like you about to steal something. I guess they don't think when they see you walk in the door, they don't think that you can afford the clothes. Or afford what they selling or what have you, you feel me? Like it just feel it just feel weird, bro. Like I love I love dealers. You feel me? Cause I go in there, give them a little, you know what I'm saying? I need me a foot little polo. I go in there and grab that real quick, you heard? They be having a nice selection sometimes. But the employees in there, man, they make you feel awkward. Like this is the way they be looking at you, the way they be watching you. It's like even when the when the employee in there come in there and ask you, or oh, do you need help? Even when they ask you, do you need help? It still feel weird. It's not. It's not like a genuine type of. It's not like a genuine wanting to help somebody type of vibe. It's like a. You know, they just really coming over there just to make sure you ain't trying to steal or something. If you ask me, I don't know, fam. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. Um. But yeah, so we just got that out the way. Uh. You know what I'm thinking about eating today? See, this place right here. A lot of y'all go to this place for the girls, you heard? But you feel me? I'm a married man, so I'm going for the, I'm going for the food, you heard? So down the street is a Hooters, so I think that's what we going today, man. We gonna see what Hooters got, man. Let go. Alright fam, we pulling in right now. Who this hoot is hitting for? All right, fam. After 20 minutes of waiting, we got the grub. Yeah, grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. All right, fam. We in the wit. Um, I ain't gonna lie, this food kind of smells good. I got a chicken sandwich. Um, to be honest with y'all, the reason I went to, uh, well, the reason Hooters came to mind today was because, um, the reason Hooters came to mind today was because I was on the phone with my homeboy yesterday, and he was telling me how he went to Hooters, and they had like a lunch special going on or what have you for the chicken sandwich or something like that, he told me. So I was in the area, and I decided to go to Hooters to see what this, uh, 
who does he was what this who this fuss was all about that he was talking about. He said it was good, da da da. You feel me? But what he didn't mention is for the special, you gotta dine in. So I couldn't even get the special he was talking about. So instead I got a chicken sandwich, you know, with some fries or what have you, and it cost me 13 for the six, you heard? 13 for the six. So this is not grub for under half a dub. Alright fam, time to set up Grub Tim Mobile Studios. Alright fam. It's all good. It's not grub under half a dub, you feel me? Let's just hope. Hold on, I'm Matt. I'm wipes. I'm wipes. Um hold on. Yeah, it's all good that it's not, um, I need to get me a lint brush, man. It's all good that it's not grub for under half a dub, uh, you feel me? Let's just hope that the taste matches the price, you understand me? You feel me? I don't know. I never tried a Hooters chicken sandwich before. Matter of fact, to be honest with y'all, I never ate at Hooters before. I mean, I always pass by Hooters. Have I ate at Hooters before? I don't remember. Like, if I did eat at Hooters before, it was a long time ago. I don't remember. So long ago that I, I don't remember if I ate there. But yeah, man, 1346 chicken sandwich. Let's just hope, you feel me, that the taste matches the price. The price matches the taste, you understand me? I ain't gonna lie though, it does smell good. Oh, they put a little sticker on here too. Well, it better be accurate. They got a little sticker on here that says, double check for accuracy, you heard? So imagine that they have, imagine there's a stick on there that says, all right, this seems to be good. Imagine they have a stick on there that says, double check for accuracy, then you open the box, and you ain't, you ain't got what you were supposed to get. You heard, you see the sticker right there? Well, yeah, fam, let's get into this food. Gotta pour one for the GTF. Let's pop this thing. Oh. Alright, fan, that close-up action here. Y'all see them curly fries. Now I mean, this is the buffalo chicken sandwich with lemon pepper dry rub. Yer. Y'all see what's going on, fam. For the 13, 4, 6. Alright, fam. So I'm done shooting the short form video. Now we on the long form video. I ain't gonna lie, fam. For the 1346, they could have at least gave me some more fries. Cause I ain't gonna lie. Like how I ran out of fries, I only got like a couple pieces of fries left. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like a like four or five fries left. And I ran out of fries doing a short form video. Which don't make sense. Because it's not like I eat a whole lot of fries while doing a short form video. So it just 1346, they could have gave me a lot more fries. So I'm complaining about that, fam. Like who is 1346 for this meal? Y'all tripping. But anyway, fries. Hit that beer. Mm. Don't get me wrong. The fries are good. At least to me they are. I like the fries. I like the curly fries. Now my other complaint is, I told a young lady when I ordered the food. She asked me, do I want ranch or blue cheese? I specifically told the girl, ranch, because I don't mess with blue cheese. I hate blue cheese. You know, you know what she gave me? They gave me blue cheese, bro. Blue cheese, bro. I hate blue cheese, so I couldn't even dip my fries in the ranch dressing like I had anticipated to do, because I ain't have no ranch dressing. You heard? 13 for the six. They gave me a little bit of fries, and I didn't even get my ranch. So they messed up my order. Oh! Hold on. So the paper right here, the order paper, it says buffalo chicken sandwich with lemon pepper on there. And this is ranch and fries. Keep in mind, they got the sticker on the bag that says double check for accuracy. So you double checked it for accuracy in which the receipt said ranch on there. The order, the order receipt says ranch on here, but yeah, y'all gave me blue cheese. So how the hell did you double check for accuracy? I ain't gonna lie, who does y'all got me hot dog. Y'all got me hot. Here's a chicken sandwich. I done took like two bites already. 
for the uh, short form video. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's a nice size chicken sandwich. It's, you feel me? The the piece of chicken in here is a nice size. You understand me? Hit that bit. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I like the chicken sandwich, it's good. I like the fries. The fries are good too. Take another bite of chicken sandwich. Hit that beer. Mm hmm. Hmm. The chicken sandwich is most definitely good. It got a dry lemon pepper rub on there. Give it that lemon paper flavoring. As you can see, the bun is a nice soft, is a nice soft bun. Big piece of chicken on there. The chicken is juicy, tender, flavorful. Like I said, got that lemon pepper flavor to it. All around, this is a good chicken sandwich. I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. Just good chicken sandwich. I ain't gonna cap. Now, is this is this meal worth thirteen forty six? I mean, with this a little bit of fries that they gave me, I say no. And the fact that they messed up and gave me blue cheese instead of ranch, I said no. It's not worth thirteen forty six. The chicken sandwich is good. I do like the fries, but for thirteen forty six, y'all gonna have to make sure I get my ranch when I want my ranch. And y'all gonna have to give me some more fries, bro. Thirteen forty-six, and y'all ain't give me enough fries, bro. No cap. But the chicken sandwich is good. The fries are good. They just didn't give me enough. Then they gave me blue cheese, in which I hate blue cheese, bro. Whatever, bro. Crazy. I'm looking at this thing right here. Double check for accuracy. I guess they don't know the meaning of accuracy. Or maybe do I have, maybe I have the definition of accuracy confused. I don't know. I thought accuracy supposed to make sure everything is correct, but everything wasn't correct. So y'all definition of accuracy must be different. Yeah. But anyway, fam, whatever. So here's your chance to exit. If you don't want to hear about the TV talk today, I want to talk to y'all about Night Agent Season 1, Episode 7. That's what I watched last night. The episode is titled Gotta be aware of your surroundings, man. The episode is titled Best Served Coal, you heard? Best Served Coal. And basically, this episode start off 14 years flashback to when Maddie who is the vice president's daughter lost her sister when she, her sister Sarah, when she was very young, she was very young when she lost her sister. Uh, when they did the flashback, of course, her dad was the vice president, so her dad was on the phone at the house and not paying attention to his daughters. Feel me? Maddie was a little girl at the time, and the little sister was a little girl, a little sister named Sarah. The daddy on the phone. You know, not worried about the girls or whatever, but he trying to put Maddie in charge of watching a little girl. But the little girl ended up drowning. And the, the father blamed Maddie for it. Like, How are you going to blame this little girl? So that's why Maddie doesn't really get along with the... with the. Now I'm seeing why the Maddie doesn't really get along with the father like that. You feel me? Like She don't really like her father like that. Because he tried to put the blame on her when you was the adult and you was supposed to be watching the two little kids, bro. You feel me, buddy? You wrong for that, buddy. You wrong, Mr. Vice President. Well, yeah, that's what happened 14 years later, whatever. Fast forward to the present. Now, you know, Maddie had got kidnapped. So now they show Maddie, she's in a room locked up or whatever. So some guy, the guy who kidnapped her, I forgot his name. He came in the room, took a picture, you know, I guess like to show proof of life. He got her chained up, whatever. And uh, he came and took a picture. She tried to ask him some questions and he was like, you feel me? He just took a picture and he took off. And... Um, 
he took off. And then after that, Peter, you know, they framed Peter trying to make it seem like Peter was the one that kidnapped Maddie. The Diane Farr lady, you know, the crooked FBI handler. She framed Peter to make it seem like Peter was the one. She set it up for Peter to get framed, like made it seem like Peter's the one that got, uh, that kidnapped Maddie. But you know what I'm saying? She just doing all that, you feel me, to, to try to discredit him so nobody don't believe anything he says about Diane Farr. So, Peter and Rose take off on a boat somewhere. They're in the middle of the ocean, wherever they at, you feel me? Peter over there feeling sorry for himself. You know what I'm saying? So now Rose, you feel me? Rose giving the pep talk or what have you. Like, yo, man, you feel me? You need to tighten up, little homie. You feel me? She tells dog, you need to tighten up. You feel me? You need to get right. You know what I mean? So now, whatever, whatever. I've been no Peter had the hots for, for Rose. Rose, I think, I've I been compete. Rose like, um, Rose like Peter too. So anyway, you feel me? Peter kissed Rose while they was on a boat in the middle of the ocean, you feel me? Then they end up going down in the, um, you know, down in the boat where the room at, where they end up knocking the boots, you heard? He baked, you feel me? He baked. So, you know, they knocked the boots. So all of a sudden, you feel me? He was revived. <laughs> You feel me? My man was revived after he don't, you know what I mean? After after Rose done gave him that good, good, you heard? You feel me? So now he re, he revived now, you know what I'm saying? So now he wanna, you know, trying to get down to trying to figure out the truth or what have you. Um, so now um, Eric, the black, uh, what that is? CIA, not, Secret Service agent in Arrington, the younger seats, uh, Secret, Secret Service agent, they go to Peter House and find some books and in the books, you know, they're basically in Peter's house because, you know, they're trying to locate Peter. So they're basically in Peter's house and snooping around trying to see what they could find that can give them a lead as to where Peter would would go, where he would be keeping Maddie, you know, since they supposedly says he kidnapped her. So they found some card and some that fell out of some book and it said somebody's name on there. They went and looked for the guy. The guy was like Peter's father's friend, but the guy was so close to Peter. Peter's father that he considered Peter, Peter as his own because the guy himself, he never had kids. And I believe that guy is the guy that owns the boat that Peter took off on. So anyway, you feel me? Um, They find that information out. And uh, in that episode, Peter and um, Rose end up, you know, coming back to shore. And while they come, come back to shore, um, while they end up coming back to shore, they get caught by a uh, because Arrington and Eric figured out the boat belonged to the, the guy had a boat. So they was going on their way to the dock, I believe. They was on their way to the dock. And it just so happened when they had the dock, Peter them is are pulling them to the dock. So now, boom, Peter them get caught. They get roped here by Arrington and um, Eric. So now, I believe that's where it really, really, really ends. So now we don't know what's going to happen to the next episode. You feel me? Rose told Peter, told Rose it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So I'm trying to figure out. How is Peter going to get out of this? Because Peter done got caught, Jared. Peter and Rose got caught. So how are they going to get out of this situation is the question, Jared. Um, I'm going to watch episode 8 tonight. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch episode 8 tonight because Bel Air just came out with a new episode. So I don't know if I'm going to watch episode 8 tonight. But you feel me? I ain't going to lie. I could have binge watched. I could have been binge watched. Uh, the uh, Night Agent, because all the episodes for the first season are out, but I don't want to binge watch it because of the simple fact that I come on here uh, on my videos and talk about the show, so I don't want to binge watch it, you know what I'm saying, because I come on here every day and talk about the shows and stuff. But yeah, I'm wondering what's going to happen next. But yeah, I might watch Bel Air tonight, though, because I believe Bel Air got a new episode, if I'm not mistaken, you heard? But yeah, fans, that's what we got for y'all today, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, you heard? This chicken sandwich was good. I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. I ain't gonna lie, you feel me? Like, it was a few disappointments as far as, like, I didn't get enough price, I mean, enough fries for the thirteen forty six. And uh, they gave me blue cheese, in which I hate blue cheese. You feel me? Those are my complaints. For thirteen forty six. like, they tripping. Like, you feel me? Like, if they gave me enough fries and they would have gave me my ranch, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have been complaining about thirteen forty six. That's cool. I spent a thirteen forty six on that. I mean, it's not something that I would spend... 1346 on every day probably two three times a month something like that you feel me something like that what have you, you feel me but you feel me they ain't give me enough fries and they get and they gave me blue cheese i hate blue cheese bro i know y'all heard me say that a couple times on here that's how much i hate blue cheese i don't mess with blue cheese though no cap they tried my face dog like my face ain't clean out here on these streets yeah but anyway fam gtf for life